Biggest news of today speaks as we try to talk about, like, what is still to come for the Bears and free agency. You would agree that the biggest news today is that Mike Williams is the cap casualty so far in L.A. And I say so far because they are technically under the cap, but there are big bonuses coming still for both uh, Joey, Mack. Bo- Joey Bosa and Keenan Allen. They have roster bonuses right. coming up. And there's a belief that one of those guys sh- could still be cut so that those bonuses do not need to be paid. But they are technically under the cap uh, with the Mike Williams cut as of whatever that was, an hour and a half ago. Yeah, I, I, that is the biggest news of the day is Mike Williams now being on the market, obviously injured last year. It's interesting because as we prepare for this segment of the best of the remaining NFL free agents, I find myself, of course, d- doing research on the wide receivers um, also, by the way, on my end anyway, tackles, center, edge rusher, defensive tackle, and quarterback. I want to ask you about the quarterback room before we get out of here. But what do you think about Mike Williams' theoretical fit in terms of body size, uh, receiver spot, um, availability, et, et cetera? It's a mixed bag for me, frankly. Well, I'm worried about the price on it well, for a but, guy who's been hurt. Yes. But he's got he's so he's carrying a dead cap number from the Chargers that's significant. It's you know, I think that there's a world here where it makes a lot of sense. The Bears wide receiver coach is Chris Beatty. He was there with the Chargers. He's coached Mike Williams before, mm-hmm. so they have a direct connection with his former position coach, and it he was there for three years in L.A. They have a massive, massive need at the position. And I think it's going to come down to Ryan Poles' opinion, an informed opinion, of is there going to be a tier one receiver available for him at nine or a receiver that he at least feels comfortable enough being the second pass catching option. Because maybe it's not one of the big three, but maybe he loves... Brian Thomas and doesn't think that nine is a reach for him. You know, like maybe he disagrees with the mock drafts and thinks that one of the, you know, tier two wide receivers, according to the Mike Mayox and Mel Kuypers of the world, yeah. is worthy of the ninth overall pick or that he's going to trade down to 12 and get someone that he thinks can be an immediate contributor. I Because I would be a little surprised if he drafted Mike Williams or if he drafted a receiver and signed Mike Williams, though I would be very, very, very in favor of it, well, to be clear. Well, well, I mean, here's the thing. What is the cap hit going to be for the new team that signs him? Russell Wilson, because of all the dead cap money, it's costing the Steelers less than $2 million to have Russell Williams, uh, Russell Wilson uh, on, on their roster. So we don't, I mean, we don't know what the contract is. We don't, we don't know how much he's going to, how much he's going to sign for. Yeah. Well, you know, it's interesting because it would be offset by the, by whatever the, the chargers are paying. But it, it's it's interesting because but, I mean he's but like it's not I don't think it's a Russell Wilson like I think he will come at a discount but I do not believe it to be as significant as what happened with Russell Wilson because I think he's going to get more than a one year deal you know so he's a, he's carrying a twelve million dollar dead cap hit yeah for for the Chargers this year you got to figure he's getting I mean he'll get more than Darnell Mooney got right. You know, for, for for a number. So, like, yes, some of the financial stuff is, is put off by the Chargers, but you'll be making a multi-year commitment to a 29-year-old big-bodied receiver with mm. an injury history coming off of an ACL, but who, when healthy, is a touchdown guy. Yeah, it's, it's interesting because the body profile as a big-bodied X receiver to go with DJ Moore is very appealing. There's, yeah, I figured you'd love it. Yeah, I do. I, I do love that part of it, for sure, because there's nobody else. The wide receiver free agent market still has Calvin Ridley. That's 76 catches for 1,000 yards and eight touchdowns last year. Still has Hollywood Brown, Curtis Samuel, uh, Tyler Boyd, OBJ, theoretically, if he still wants to play. But, like, all of those guys would be, like, you know, a th- – 
to me, a third wideout fit. I mean, I, obviously Ridley is caliber of a second wideout or even a one for some teams, but I'm looking for a big-bodied X. I'm looking for Roma Dunze in the first um, if he falls to nine. I'm looking for, you know, that's why I like Keon Coleman or Adonai Mitchell, who has the measurables of a DK Metcalf. Adonai Mitchell, the kid from from Texas. So so that's that's the so Mike Williams is appealing in that way. Um, and, and it's interesting because if you did go the Mike Williams route, you could draft that wide receiver in the third. You, you know, one of your third-round picks could be that wide receiver that you're adding to the mix. 